Well, I could say three things. Uh, first, I think that uh, simply by start to look and offering some things related to uh, climate change is very helpful because we start to put a price tag of these risks and this has a tremendous impact in the market. So uh, the contribution of insurers there is very important. Mm -hmm. A second aspect is the whole discussion of how we incorporate uh, long-term considerations in investors' uh, responsibilities and also responsiveness uh, to, uh, um, say, investors' uh, real money uh, demands. And I think here uh, investors, uh, insurers can have an important role also in helping to incorporate these uh, uh, aspects, particularly in uh, fixed income investment. A uh, third aspect, of course, is the whole work that we're doing uh, in um, uh, natural disasters. And uh, of course, they are becoming more uh, frequent and sometimes bigger. Uh, and we have a, a very large number of the world population that is not covered. So one of the areas that we are partnering with the insurance industry is how we can increase uh, the number of people covered against uh, uh, natural disasters. The regulations are not particularly favorable because they have a more short-term uh, angle. So for instance, when you uh, insurers uh, buy credit related to infrastructure, it will be charged for the volatility of this credit when this credit usually is illiquid. So volatility is not so important. Uh, some uh, European regulations have looked into this, have adjusted, solvents too in part, but it's still uh, an issue. The second aspect is the pure credit aspect because uh, the, the way, for instance, uh, an infrastructure that evolves over its life is very different from a corporate debt. But again, capital charges are computed using the experience from corporate debt, which uh, continue to be risky or actually become even riskier as it, uh, it uh, matures. A while in the case of uh, uh, infrastructure, there's a tendency of the default uh, risk to decrease over time. This may not be the major factor limiting in, uh, infrastructure investment, but it's uh, significant because it does have an impact on the return to insurers of uh, investing in infrastructure. Well, I think that we are living uh, since 2016 a kind of uh, a synchronized recovery. Uh, so the US, but also Europe, Asia. Uh, now we in, a, in Europe there has been a slowdown. There is also a new risk because of some uh, EU countries that uh, because of political reasons. More generally, of course, there are macro uh, geopolitical risks that can translate into macroeconomic risk quite significantly, especially when they have an impact on global trade. Well, I think that everything related to cyber can have an impact on insurance. Of course, uh, insurance now, are insu uh, they have products to address uh, uh, cyber, but the whole regulation uh, about cryptocurrencies and other things uh, do have an impact on the general stability, financial stability, and uh, through these can have also an impact on the financial uh, insurance industry.